In this video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite passing concepts to be able to break down man coverage, zone coverage, really anything you're going to face in Madden 23. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the, the uh, subscribe button down below. It's free to subscribe, get you access to all the videos. Also, if you want to really get the uh, inside scoop on everything, make sure you're in our Patreon. That's where you get access to all of our ebooks and all the updates to our ebooks. We have uh, ebooks on Trips Tied In. We have ebooks like, I think we have 14 ebooks right now uh, on Bunch, Trips Tied In, U Trips, Tight. Uh, we're working on a Bunch Tied In one right now as well. Uh, so we got a lot of stuff over there, and of course, some defensive stuff if you're looking to get better on the defensive side of the ball. But the play that I want to break down for you today is PA Counter Go. This is one of my favorite setups in the game uh, because I do think it's very simple, but at the same time, it's very, very effective. So this is going to break down every single coverage in this game, and it gives us quick reads to be able to beat the blitz as well as man-to-man. -man. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to take our uh, little receiver here, uh, Julio Jones. We're going to motion him across, and we're going to put him on streak. And then all we're going to do from there is we're just going to in route and or put a backside in route and smart route it just like this. So what you'll see with this play is the first read on the play really is the streak and then it's the out route. Now the streak a lot of times this year, uh, surprisingly, the streak is one of the best routes in the game. Uh, you can aggressively catch the streak if it's one on one, or you can just simply um, you know if he beats the player then you can throw this as well. But as you see right here, this out route is really, really good. Um, this out route is one of the best man beaters in the game. So if they're playing a lot of man coverage, this is a great play to go to because nobody wants to use her um, outside of the middle of the field. They want to keep their user in the middle of the field, right? So that's a great way to attack that. You see this fade. Uh, you're just going to peek. It's, it's what we look to uh, as a peek, right? If you're uh, at the snap of the ball, you're just going to look. Is the fade getting a separation? If it's not, we're gonna move on to the out route. If it is getting separation, then obviously you can free form it up the field. Another thing you might wanna look at is, do I have a one-on-one? -on -one? If I have a one-on-one, -on -one, then I might wanna try my hands at doing that right there where I user catch it, okay? Um, those are two things, two options that you have on this play um, against man. Now, this play continues to beat man across the field, so they're gonna to have to drop a zone uh, to be able to guard the streak and to be able to guard the out route, right? Might be a deep third, might be a curl flat, but now the middle of the field is open and we can hit this crosser right on the cut over the middle of the field. This is essentially a air raid staple. It's a it's a Y cross concept. That's basically what we're trying to uh, create here. Okay, so so now they have, like I said, they have to drop these zones uh, across. Probably have a deep half here and then have, you know, some kind of zone and then their user in the middle of the field. Now, um, what you'll notice is if they use the crosser, this backside 10 yard in route is actually really, really good. Um, backside in routes, you know, especially smart routed at, at 10 yards or so, they do a pretty decent job at beating man to man. So if they're hanging out in the middle of the field trying to stop the crosser, that route becomes wide open right on the uh, typically on that hash mark as you can see so this play is really good against man pretty much every route has a chance uh, to get open against man uh, and, and again please don't sleep on the fact that you can actually motion snap this streak um, if you wanted to and you could run a variation of this concept so it could look like this this is a variation of this play, and the beauty of this is now the streak is isolated. So if you if they're running a lot of cover zero, it's a great way to beat man because the one on one aggressive catch this year is probably the best. I think it's actually better than it was in Madden 16 because you can do it all the way up and down the field. Um, it's not just for a big play downfield, although that will happen too. But you could just throw these little baby streaks and have a lot of success especially again if you isolate this guy so if you take that out route turn it into a drag now there's nobody over on that side of the field and most of the time that defender won't animate okay so that's a variation of this play but then now i want to move on to zone coverage so we talked a little bit about man now let's go to zone so cover three um probably most popular zone you're going to get with this um really the main route against cover three is going to be this deep crosser they're going to have to go user that um 
you know, if they're wanting to stop that. Now, a lot of people this year, because of the way the game plays, are putting hard flats on the field out of their cover three. If they do put a hard flat, you're going to highball this out route, and a lot of times that flat zone will not play it uh, properly, okay? He will not be able to get up there, okay? So that's an option. You do want to at least look over there. Um, the next thing I want to talk about, though, is an example of them going and running deep with your crosser. Now I have a high ball right in the back side of this. You want to high ball that in route, ideally, um, if there's anybody around it, because it kind of protects it. It makes it so that only your player is going to catch the ball. People really have a hard time this year catching tip picks, so we want to take advantage of that. Um, cover 4 is kind of the same exact thing, and the main reason for that is because we're clearing out this side of the, of the field with this deep fade. And so with um, cover 3, the other thing I forgot to mention real quick is if you get a one-on-one -on -one with the corner, same kind of thing. You're gonna, as soon as that corner turns his hips, you can try them one-on-one -on -one if you want to. Um, so if you feel like the pressure is coming in and you need to get the ball out of the, off your out of your hands, um, by all means, this is actually a very safe read this year, as you can see. Okay. Um, another thing I wanted to briefly cover is any kind of fire zone pressure. Uh, I'm gonna use cover three to showcase that, uh, just because I think that no one's going to want to blitz you out of cover two in trips so typically what you'll get is something that looks like this um so you have two hard flats and then the user will be um in the middle of the field so in this scenario again the hard flats right so you have the out route to the tight end notice the blocking is better in trips and then that dig you're still kind of making the same progression the same process um, I'll show it out of cover two now as well. So again, this is just a, a cover two variation of the pressure. This play is not necessarily like I mean it, it can beat the it can beat the zone, but it's fine because most of the time with this, you're gonna have a few seconds now to be able to throw it with the most recent patch. So you're gonna just try to hit that crosser or the in route. Really the crosser or the in route. If they're able to get out there and guard that tight end out route, which it's gonna mean them putting some kind of some kind of curl flat over there, then you're gonna be able to attack them in the middle of the field. Okay? Um, or deep down the side of them. Alright, so now cover two. Cover two um, is interesting this year. Uh, but basically, the same thing, the crosser is going to be open. Um, the crosser gets really deep down the field. It's really one of the better routes of the game now that we are actually have time to throw it. We didn't have time to throw it uh, a week or two ago. We still, I mean, blitzing is still really powerful and sheds are still really good. But with play action blocking, it helps neutralize edge threats. And then also, um, you know, you have this little dig. So if they do kind of drift too far back, you've got your in route coming in behind it. So this play is coming back. wanted to break this down for you. But this is kind of a really nice little two-by-two two passing concept. This is also kind of a Y cross. It's very similar to what you would see in, in, a, in an air raid offense, a Y cross, which is one of my favorite. I actually think it's the, probably the best deep vertical type passing play um, in the game. So anyways, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, this video that is the Y cross concept out of trips tied in. So thanks for watching. If you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook, we just put a 55 minute update uh, to the ebook into our Patreon uh, membership. The link to sign up for the Patreon is in the description. So on top of everything that we already had in the trips tied in, we have, have a 55 minute update video and we have several other updates planned for that as well. So if you want to get access to all that content, Make sure you're in the Patreon. I got 14 ebooks. Uh, 10 bucks gets you access to everything. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head on down to the description below and click the link down below.